You think you need money to feel confident. And I'll tell you right now, there's no amount of money that will ever make you confident. You will always be fragmented because you never see things come together or be finished. And so you are not whole and complete. That's how it works. Do you know that an issue with adults is that they're never finished with work? An issue, huge issue, mental, psychological, emotional, spiritual issue with adults today, with, with grown people, is that their work is never done. They're always working, always working, always, always, always going, 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 going. like it's never done. And so then let's take a look at uh, adults being stressed. And then let's take a look at stress causes arguments and stress causing, causing um, intense feelings towards each other. And, and then anxiety and panic and depression is like, hello, we're, we don't feel complete. We feel fragmented. We feel like we're like all over the place and doing all these kinds of things. And it's like, ah, I'm never getting anything done. And I hear people say, I just feel like I don't get anything done. It's like, no, you don't claim it. You're finishing things, but you've never been a finisher. You've never been somebody who could say you finished something. Because it's a childhood thing. Somebody else came in and would tell you if it was done or not. And so part of our maturity, part of us growing up as an adult today, you get to be a new higher level of an adult and be able to go, wow, I'm going to start calling things out when I finish. I'm going to brush my teeth. It's finished. I'm going to take a shower. It's finished. I'm going to make some scrambled eggs and eat them. That's finished. I mean, you, there's so many things you finish, but if you don't claim them, you're going to feel, continue to feel fragmented on the inside. And when you're fragmented, you're not going to want to talk to people. You're not going to want to do a webinar. You're not going to want to coach somebody because you feel fragmented. And how are you supposed to help somebody else when you feel fragmented? You won't. You won't fully get into the passion of serving people and figuring this out when you feel fragmented. But I can't put your pieces together inside you until you start to claim you actually finish things. And you might be like, uh, this... I don't know how this works, Kirk. Look for when you finish something. And now tomorrow, you're probably gonna have to do it all over again, right? Because everything we've got to do is we got to get up and, and we wash our hair again, we brush our teeth and, and we shave and we get dressed and, and it's the same thing over and over again. So we kind of forget that yesterday we finished things because we never claimed it. We never were looking for it. But yet, deep in our psyche, we wonder why we're fragmented. We wonder why. You wonder why you don't have the confidence to get on social media and boldly say, hey, I've got this thing. I can do this for you. Let's do this. I want to help you. You're not going to boldly talk like that to people because you're fragmented. And you don't know why. You think you need money to feel confident. And I'll tell you right now, there's no amount of money that will ever make you confident. You will always be fragmented because you never see things come together or be finished. And so you are not whole and complete. That's how it works. But I thought, I mean, I was, I was thinking about this last night. I was like, man, I'm going to share this. This is so good. This is so powerful. This is so important to look at this. And this is why a daily routine tracking sheet, right? That's why in the mastermind, I say, hey, do this daily routine. It's not to give you stuff to do. I don't care what you write in your routine, but check the box because inside you, what I'm attempting to do for you is to show you, you finished it. And then tomorrow, there's an option to do it again. But when you track what you do, 
deep in your psychological aspect of who you are, you start to show yourself that you start something and you finish something. You want both. You are a starter and a finisher. Those are two powerful powers inside of you. You can get things going and then you bring it together. You can hook the truck up to the trailer. Boom, you can hit that where the ball and the trailer come together, latch it on, boom, done, let's go. Like you can pull it together. That's what you want is you want the power to start and the power to finish and that you can do those two. And look around, look around as you're coaching people, watch, people can't start. Oh, I don't know how to start. And then people are like, oh, I don't know how to finish this. They can't finish. They can't finish. And it's like, why? What, what's happening to them? What's going on inside the people? But if the more you coach, you're going to find this. And you're going to be so glad I told you of this up front. Because now you're like, you just got jump started like five years into the coaching world of going, whoa, should I start watching for this? Yeah, because what you do as a coach is you help people get started. And then the other issue is, is help them finish it. But you can cheerlead a person until you're blue in the face. You could have all the cheerleading systems put together to rally around them and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still won't finish. And so when your clients won't start and they won't finish, then you'll start to realize, wait, there's something deeper here. There's something deeper. And let me give you one more really good caveat to this. A person who can't see themselves finishing things loses the passion to start anything else. Because once they start to lose the consciousness of finishing, then they actually lose the consciousness of how to start. Because once you finish one thing, you then start the next thing. But if you can't see the finish, then there is no start. And that's why people today have lost motivation. is because they don't see things that they finished. Accomplishments. And you've heard this in the coaching world, in the personal development world. You've seen people talk about gratitude journals and writing down your accomplishments. And that's the reason those principles work, is if you have somebody write down their accomplishments, they start to realize that they've finished things. And when somebody sees a long list of things that they finished, it actually motivates them to start something new. But only after they see what has been done. That's the only time they ever feel motivated is after they see the things that they finished. And even like a gratitude journal, the reason why we have a gratitude journal and that works for people to be able to help them become more motivated is because they start to see what has been done for them. What has come together for them. What's come together for me. Oh, I can see that. That came together for me. Oh, that's something I, I, I'm really thankful for because I see how that's come together for me or for others. And then it moves people to be more of a starter because they can see what's been done. And so as I coach and I teach and I train, I really like to get into the, you know, the roots of what's really causing people to do what they do. And then what can I give them and what can I coach them on? What can I train them on of some simple steps that they can take so that they can rebuild the psychological part of start and finish? Because as human beings, if we lose that, what are we? What are we? If we can't start and we can't finish, what are we? You want to know what the term is? Stuck. <laughs> That's the term. Stuck. Stuck. 